Hi, my name is Dennis from ONGC and in today's video we're going to have a look at utilizing Search within SharePoint Online. Search is a really powerful tool within SharePoint and can help you find a document really quickly and really efficiently. Let's say for instance you know that a file exists in SharePoint but you don't know what folder it's been stored in. Again this is where Search could help you find that file without needing to have the prior knowledge of where this file is actually located. I'm here already on my SharePoint homepage and I'm going to demonstrate a few different ways that we can utilize Search. The first and the simplest is on your SharePoint homepage you'll have a big search this site bar across the very top. Selecting on that I'm going to type in Jane. Now immediately I've got a result that's popped up here, and this is the closest matching result for the particular text that I've popped in. Now this can be an individual keyword that you've put in here, it could also be a sentence. But if I go ahead and select enter, I'm going to get a much larger search result showing here. The very top one, again, is the closest match to this particular search term being that Jane is in the name of this file. However, below that, I have a few other results as well, where Jane is not in the title of the document. This is because Jane is present somewhere in the body of this document. And in the case of this HR Excel report here, you can see that Jane Potter is in one of the cells of this Excel file. This is another advantage of search within SharePoint. Potentially a file has been stored and hasn't been named correctly and just has a generic name of document or new document. If I know the contents of the file that I'm looking for, the search again can help find that file really quickly and then give me the opportunity to rename it. With the search results that you see here, again you can see the name, you can see the document library that it's stored in, you can see when it was last modified, a quick sort of blurb of the contents of the document, as well as an image of the document preview here as well. Any of the searches run via this top bar will search the entire SharePoint site. That means it can search multiple document libraries. However, you'll only see results for files which you have access to. We have a few other options across the top here when performing a search, and a handy one are these filters. In this case, we can filter by time. Let's say, for instance, we know the file was within the past year. We could select that and filter that search result down, or to undo that and return to the full search. Now, as mentioned, this is currently searching for anything across this individual SharePoint site, but potentially across multiple document libraries. If I select organization across the top of my search, however, this will return results across my entire organization that match Jane. This could be across different SharePoint sites. This could be across my personal OneDrive or it could be results from files stored within Microsoft Teams. As there's a much larger search result here, I have a few additional filter options. I still have the date modified. However, I now also have a document type. So if I knew it was a Word document I was looking for, again, I could filter that down. And to return to my SharePoint site and exit the search, I can press the back arrow next to my search term. Now the other way that you can perform a search as well is if you know specifically the document library that your file is stored within, you can come to that document library directly. And now our search bar across the top says search this library instead of search this site. Again, I can click on that and type in Jane and press enter. 
And now I can search for files specifically in this document library that have Jane. Now you can see that this sort of search doesn't give you the same sort of filter options as the site does. However, it can be a really quick way of finding the file specifically within a folder or specifically within a document library. Again, to exit the search, I can press the back arrow. Thank you again for joining me, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your ONGC representative. Thank you.